Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the split plane feature available in AUCAD and Allegro PCB editor. So on the ground plane here, I want to, to split it into effectively a naught volt and a ground earth plane. Now I can either just manually draw the two shapes and let the dynamic shapes kind of create the space for me, but in some instances it might be just as easy to kind of draw the, the, the split line in first and then create the shapes afterwards. Um, so what I would do is I would use the, the add line feature. I can then select the active class and subclass and I pick the anti-etch layer and then on the layer that I want it on, so this one's going to be on the ground layer, and then the, the line width would be the thickness of the, the clearance that we need. And then what I need to do is, is, is draw this in, but it, I need to make sure that the anti-etch line actually crosses a root keeping area. So you must have a root keeping area to be able to use the split plane feature. So I'm going to start my, my anti-etch line and draw up. Now obviously coloured things here, so I've got the, the sky blue is the, is the colour of the ground earth, and then green is the colour of the the naught volt so I kind of want to make sure that I, I allow enough room for this so I want to come around maybe come up around from the for the green track there or the green pin there come up to the rest of the sky blue now I've obviously got the sky blue coming across here so I'm just going to draw a little surrounding area to make sure I encompass the rest of the ground earth track that I need and then again this just needs to make sure that it starts and finishes beyond the root keeping so once I've done that, you can obviously see, let's just turn all the layers on. I've effectively got a root keeping all there that this line, this anti-etch line must cross. Now once my, my keeping areas are there, I can then use the command. So it's, it's edit split plane and I've got a parameters where I can set up effectively the style of the, the, the layer that I need or for the split plane. You must use positive dynamic shapes here or positive shapes um, to be able to use the split plane feature. So it's edit split plane and create. I then pick the layer that I wish to do it. So I want to be on ground. Um, I want it to be a dynamic shape. I'll click on create. Now it then fills, so it uses the root keeping as the air, the boundary and it fills effectively the, the first copper shape and says, right, pick the net name that you want. So this one needs to be zero. And then the next one needs to be Gund Earth. So we'll find ground earth and click OK. You can see that the, the net actually gets consumed by the shape, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, and then from a color point of view, I can just turn off the anti-etch line, and there's my clearance, um, and there's my colors and my two shapes.